Would you pay $1,000 to get hugged by Chris Brown? Is Meghan Markle trying to sabotage Katy Perry? I mean, <laughs> Kate Middleton with dog biscuits? Come on in, kids. It's time for Total Trash Live. Only I know the answers. Come on in, kids. I've got questions and answers. Do you think Meghan Markle trying to sabotage Kate Middleton with dog biscuits? I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Welcome to Total Trash Live, my trashies. Hey, baby. Oh, you're going to hear all about it. I am house munching by proxy. Listen, we've got so much dish, so much tabloid trash. You guys got to get in. Come on in, kids. We've really got a lot to get into. Are you ready for some Total Trash Live? Here we go. Come on. They're, they're painting dogs and making them look like pandas. It's a skew, honey. Hi, my trashy. Are you ready? It's prize. And it's unhinged. For pride. Let's do this, right? Ooh. Hi, my trashy. Meow, 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 meow. You guys, Kate Middleton is back. Hi, my trashies. Listen, before we begin with all these tabloid topics, I just want to say happy Pride. I'm sure it's Pride somewhere because, honey, it is Pride every day in June. Los Angeles has a downtown Pride, a West Hollywood Pride, an LA Pride, a Sherman Oaks Pride, Americana Brand Pride, Long Beach Pride. I hope you're proud. I hope you're proud of yourself. But, honey, the question is, is the Pope... Is the Pope celebrating Pride this year? Honey, not once but twice did she say the F word. Agatre. Agatre. <laughs> First of all, honey, she's a queen. Only a queen would you say the word Agatre. I'm, I'm leaving off the F-A because I don't want to get in trouble. By who? I don't know. Am I in trouble? <laughs> Who's going to get me in trouble? Hi, my trashy from Rochester, New York. How you doing, girl? Are you sweltering? Honey, it's not hot here. I mean, it's hot on the show, and this tea is piping hot. But honey, the Pope... First of all, did you see all those comedians went to go see the Pope? Whoopi, um, Chris Rock, J Jimmy Fallon. Um, I, was always, I was wondering, if I, would, if I was invited to go see the Pope, would I go? I would go! Just cause, just cause, so we could kiki and we could say Agatre. <laughs> honey, is that the queeniest thing you've ever heard? The Pope is a queen, honey. Those outfits. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a priest. Because I love the theatrics, because I went to Catholic school. And I love the outfits and the theatrics. It's like a play, a mass. But honey, the, the, the Pope just keeps saying Agatre. It makes me laugh. What a queen. Oh, she can't even, she can't even enjoy Pride. Poor Pope. Now let's get into it, honey. Are you guys going to enjoy Pride? Oh, speaking of Pride. So I was at some sort of gay event and there was like a, there was another room. I was in one room and there was another room. And there was, um, karaoke happening in the other room. And I hate karaoke. I hate it, honey. People just scream and can't sing. I don't sing. I can't sing. It's my compensation. But, um, uh, there are some people, I think they were visiting Los Angeles. The Pope is not mother, my, tra my trashy. Pride's always unhinged, my trashy. But I was at this, so I was at this uh, gay event, and there's karaoke in the other room, and there's these tourists, and I said to them, I said, um, oh, there's this, you know, go, they wanted to, like, walk in the other room, but they were nervous. I said, um, 
there's um, a sex party in there. And they got so excited. And they got, they, they wanted to go in, but they were trepidatious. They had trepidation. And I said, it's, you know, like, just do what the Pope is. It's agatry, honey. It's agatry. Go in there. And um, they were scared. I said, oh, yeah, honey, it's karaoke and it's a sex party. Ew, a karaoke and sex party? How disgusting. Happy Pride. It wasn't that, but it was just karaoke. But I wanted to get them all excited. And then have them get let down. I love to trick people for pride. <laughs> oh, my trashies. Um, yeah, so that was my pride experience. That was my pride experience. Yeah, that's how I celebrate pride is by tricking um, the gay community into thinking there's um, sex parties, but it's just karaoke. <laughs> oh, gosh. Honey, are you guys ready for Katy Perry? She's back, honey. This is she posted this today, <laughs> honey. I thought this was Christina Aguilera from Stripped. I want to get dirty, honey. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? It looks like Katy. Pa it looks like Christina Aguilera and Dirty. Nobody can come up with a new idea anymore. Oh, Zempe, thank you, my trashy. Did I wear a pillow hat for pride? I sure did, my trashy. But now, her album is called Woman's World. It should be called Christina's World. Because she stole Christina Aguilera's look from 2002. Stripped. That's what she, Honey, who is she? Who is she? Is it Christina Aguilera or is it Katy Perry? <laughs> Katy Perry is such a bore to you, my trashy. She's a bore to me, too. But it's, her album is called Woman's World. Are you excited? First of all, I understand about a woman's world because let me tell you something. I'm doing a play right now. I'm an actress. I'm not just you know a private investigator and a tabloid aficionado. I'm an actress. It's Christina Perry. Thank you, my trashy. It really, it really is. I hate when people can't come up with a new idea. And you're gonna steal. You're gonna get steal a look from Christina Aguilera, girl. Please. Anyway. I know something about being in the woman's world because, as I said, I'm an actress. Wasn't that Cher's song? Woman's work. I thought it was a woman's work. Woman's worth. Woman's world. It's a man's world. It's Cher's world. They're all stealing off somebody. They usually steal off, steal off Cher and um, Madonna. But let's get back to me. I'm doing a play called Psycho Beach Party here in Los Angeles. If you're in Los Angeles, come and see. I'm, you can get the uh, li tickets and the link in my bio. But I play a woman in it named Marvel Ann, and um, Amy Adams played her in the movie. You know, we're, we're the same type. And, um, honey, first of all, I have a, uh, a this, I put makeup on it. I have red b welt over, under my eye from the makeup. I have, um, uh, I scratch myself with my own finger now here. I have a middle toe that's swollen. I have a knee that's bruised from going on my knees in the show. Honey, I know it's a woman's world. I know it's a woman's world. Yes, the Charles Bush play, my trashy. What type of woman am I? <laughs> I'm a nasty bitch, honey. I'm Agatre, like the Pope. Pete, what are your thoughts on Ethel Kane? She scares me, possessed. I don't know who she is, my trashy. Um, enlighten me. Who's Ethel Kane? Kane for pride? Um, so I know what it is to be an actress. And I know what it is to be a woman. A woman's world. I'm so beat up, honey. I mean, I've been rehearsing for this play forever. Am I in, am I in Speed the Plow? Listen. Okay. Sean P. Oh, I get it. Honey, that trash has gone, gone with a whim. I do need to go to the ER, my trashy, but they'll just charge me thousands of, thousands of dollars. I am every woman, my trashy. Thank you. Yeah, well, here's... Anyway, let's... I mean, Katy Perry, I think her time is up. I think her time is up. I really do. Uh, I, I should be nominated for this play that I'm doing. I should get a Tony nomination. Thank you, my trashy. But come see it if you're in town. If you're not. Oh, let me ask you a question, my trashies, and we're going to get to more hot topics. I love you for your Thunder Cunts appearance. Thank you, my trashy. I really do it all. Um... Would you pay a thousand dollars? So Chris Brown is on on tour, and he charges a thousand dollars for a meet and greet, um, because he'll um, you know 
you, he'll, you'll, he'll let you hug him and he'll, he'll squeeze your butt. First of all, they're all women. There are no men. And that's, that's, that's prejudice. Okay? I would pay, would you pay $1,000 for Chris Brown to hug you and squeeze your butt? Let me tell you something. 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 I would. I would. I absolutely would. I absolutely would. And you might say I'm problematic. Honey, I'm problematic, Pete. And if you can't handle the heat, go back to Sesame Street. Because I would pay $1,000 for Chris Brown to hug me. But he won't because I'm a man. Little does he know I'm playing a woman in Psycho Beach Party. And I'm going to show up to the meet and greet with a red wig on my head as Marvel Ann. Do you get it? That's who I am. I'm going to the meet and greet dressed up in drag. And Chris Brown's going to squeeze me. <laughs> it is homophobic that he doesn't have men there for the meet and greet, my trashy. Um, I'm actually thinking about going to go see Chris Brown in concert. I actually saw him in concert years ago before he hit Rihanna. But um, I, and he's coming here in August. I think I'm going to go. And I'm going to go just as a woman and I'm going to go to the meet and greet. Which reminds me of my trashies. I need you to Venmo me $1,000. <laughs> Woo! It's pride. It's pride. I'm so proud. I, um, I, I Thank you, my trash. I am the Pope's speechwriter, by the way. I write all this speech. The, the archetry of it all. Ah, <laughs> oh, Chris Brown. A skew, honey. A skew. Um... Venmo me, a, Venmo me a thousand dollars, my trashy. What about J-Lo canceling her tour? What are you proud of this proud pride? Oh, I'm proud of my trashy, um, of being proud, of being pride. No, yes, let's talk about J-Lo. She canceled her tour live. So last time I did a live, we talked about J-Lo, um, that tour, and that she was going to get divorced. So that she canceled the tour, you know, and she said she had she needs personal reasons. I think it's ticket sales mixed with personal reasons because Ben's fed up with her, honey, because she's addicted to working, and he, he's over it. And then they're saying that she doesn't like him because he's grim. It's in the it's on the cover of the latest tabloid that we're going to get into. Jello and Ben divorcing, and it's just a matter of time before they get divorcing. She wanted to cancel the tour and make that announcement first, and then by um I say by August. Mid, like late August, when things are slow and boring, they're going to make a statement saying that they're going to get divorced. Mark my word. Mark my word. Where's Lumina? You mean my daughter and co host Lumina? Of course, I didn't forget about her. She, she wants to protect herself from the sun. She has a little parasol. Hi. Say hi to everybody, Lumina. Say hi to all your fans. How are you doing, honey? Are you enjoying summer? Oh, don't melt. She was so disappointed about going to see uh, Jennifer Lopez. She wanted to go. But now we're going to go see Chris Brown. Wait a minute. Lumina can get a hug with Chris Brown. She's a lady. A lady in green. I'm going to take her to see Chris Brown. And then I'm going to blame him for this. <laughs> and we're going to get thousands and thousands of dollars that I'll put back into his tour when I ask, when I pay for it to for the meet and greet. I didn't sell her for my trash. It's, over, it's somewhere around here. I well, no, my my mother, her grandmother dropped um, Lumina and broke her foot. But she, my mother blames the cat. But I know my mom did it. I know she did. So anyway, so yeah, Jennifer Lopez, the tour is canceled. The divorce is imminent. They're going to talk about it some more in the tabloids. But also, Kate Middleton is back. Honey, Kate Middleton is back. Just when they were saying that she was not going to do any more. Um, public events and no more royal duties for the rest of the year. She made an appearance at Prince Charles's, I'm sorry, King Charles's birthday celebration. The, the troops of color, the colored troops, whatever the hell they're called. But I don't think she wanted to do it. I don't think she wanted to do it. I think they forced her to do it. I don't think she wants anything to do with that family. I think she took the kids and went into hiding and part of the deal is, okay, well, I'll come back for this and then you gotta leave me alone. Cause she, I don't think she wants to be there. I don't think she wants to be there. 
Well, you want to talk about Gypsy Rose, my trashy? Oh, honey, she got a whole makeover. She's one of the, the biggest stars in Hollywood. Wendy Williams updates my trashy. Well, I heard Wendy Williams is doing better and that she's going to be making a, um, some sort of statement soon. Oh, my God. I would live if she, had, if she came back with her show, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, let's get back to Kate Middleton. So, it was reported. <laughs> just when Kate Middleton's making her comeback, it's reported Meghan Markle, she wanted to sabotage Kate Middleton's public appearance with dog biscuits. Would you buy dog biscuits from Kate Middleton? I mean, from Meghan Markle? Would you buy dog biscuits from Meghan Markle? You know she has a line of jams called um, uh, Riviera Orchard Americana uh, at Brand or something. I can never remember the name of this damn thing. Riviera. Anyway, she's selling dog biscuits now. Honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. You went from the royal family to selling dog biscuits and jelly? I don't care. I'd rather be I'd rather be in that drafty mansion with the mold and just shaking people's hands than up in um, Montecito boring with dog biscuits. First of all, where are the cat treats? You don't like cats? It is some low down Martha Stewart trash, my trashy. Chocolate covered honey. So and first of all, you can't upset anybody with dog biscuits. Poor Kate Middleton. Poor Meghan Markle. These people need to get it together. They really should go see Chris Brown and pay $1,000 and get hugged by him. American Riviera Orchard Hardware. That's what it's called. Something like that. She got to come up with a better name. America Riviera Orchard. Honey, I don't know. Oh my goodness. So, before we get to the current tabloids, my trashies. <laughs> um, I was visiting my family. And I, I have all my vintage tabloids here. If you don't, if you never watch this show, this show, I have, uh, 30, I have 30 years of tabloids. I find in my parish storage unit. But it, that's, I have, I have them here in my apartment. But in my parents' uh, place, in the, their place, they have all the People magazines I had for the last 30 years, plus Entertainment Weeklies and Premier Magazines. I should have brought it back, but I just took a picture of it. But I have an old People magazine with Julia Roberts on the cover, and it says, Honey, whatever happened to Julia Roberts, burned out by fame and broken romances, Hollywood's hottest star has not stepped before a movie camera in 18 months. Here's how the pretty woman became a missing person. So in like the mid not early 90s, she went missing. She was kidnapped. She should have been in Kidnap instead of Halle Berry. Kidnap with a hard P. Who's my favorite star right now, Trashy? Um, Gypsy. She's the only star that's left in Hollywood. Hollywood's crumbling. If you haven't heard, honey, they are making... Listen, they're not making any films. You, don't, you think it's bad now there's no movies in movie theaters? They're hardly making any movies or anything right now. Hollywood's crumbling. Um, Yeah. If I go missing, I, my ransom should be $1,000 so I can get my, my booty squeezed by Chris Brown. Would you guys pay $1,000 for Chris Brown? Or would you pay $1,000 if I'm missing Julia Roberts? I love that she just stopped working for 18 months and they said she went missing. She like did, right after Flatliners, my trash, she, yeah, she went into hiding. Or maybe it was um, Sleeping with the Enemy. I love Sleeping with the Enemy because I love that he, how he harasses her. Because he has OCD. I love how he harasses her that he sneaks into her house and rearranges the, um, the, the canned goods. And it's, it's, it's terrorizing. You know, like the, the, the towels were slightly uh, arranged back in, um, you know, proper uh, alignment. And it's terrifying to Julia Roberts. Mary Riley! Honey, is this Mary? Where's Mary Riley? I love that trail. It's just Mary, Mary Riley. And she just whispers. But she made her come back after she disappeared with the Pelican Brief. I like the Pelican Brief too because all they do is run around the movie. They just run. 
Uh, they just run around in like um, parking garages. <laughs> oh, Julia. That's pretty woman, honey. That's pretty woman. Although she's not pretty in Mary Riley. She looks really scary in Mary Riley. It makes me laugh. Hey, this wig. I'm wearing a wig in um, this play I'm doing and it's like crushed my hair. But I didn't feel like wearing a hat tonight because I'm wearing that wig all the gosh darn time. Gosh darn it. P, give us a scream. Let me tell you something, my trashy. I don't scream. I don't raise my voice. I don't like screaming. I don't like hearing people scream. There's, I'm supposed to scream in the play. I won't do it. I'm not screaming, honey. Well, so you got your tickets to come see it, my trashy? This live is trash. How dare you, trashy? Gosh darn it. You, you're attacking me during Pride? Oh, how dare you? Oh, you probably have Munchausen. Don't you dare come in here and tell me my live is trash. You trash. Trash on trash on trash. Oh, speaking of trash. You know how they're trying to destroy Marilyn Monroe's house? Get some more hot water for my tea. You get some more hot water for my tea. By proxy. I am not going to get up and stop the show for water. I'm a professional. I'm an actress. Is the cast feeling better about the play? Here, there was a bug going around. Oh, yeah, the play I'm doing. People got COVID. The numbers are up, honey. Would you be in a remake of Single White Woman? Only I could do it, my trashy. But I want to play both parts. I want to play both single women. The red, the play, and I, I could wear a red wig because I already have it. I'll cut it short. Um, yeah, so people in my, in the play got COVID. The numbers are up. I didn't even know people got, well, I knew people got COVID anymore, but I mean, who cares? So, Marilyn, let's get back to Marilyn Monroe's house. Let's get back to Hollywood. Um, they're trying to destroy Marilyn Monroe's house again that she died in, in Brentwood. Honey, Brentwood's a mess. They're trying to destroy Marilyn Monroe's house, and I'm, like, I'm all, I'm going to try to stop it. Now they're talking about they're going to pick up Marilyn Monroe's house and move it. Move it? You've got to move it, move it. You've got to move it. They're going to move Marilyn Monroe's house. Where are they going to move it to, honey? Americana at Brand? They should move it to the Grove. Just like, that poor house. The Kim, I mean, the Kardashians probably should move into it. They probably, the Kardashians probably want to move into it and stretch it out. You know, like how she stretched out Marilyn Monroe's dress. And then Kim Kardashian was wearing Janet Jackson's costume from the If movie or video. And now did you hear that Tanya Harding, they're going to auction off one of her outfits? Well, Kim Kardashian is probably just going to buy it and her big ass is going to stretch it out. Gosh darn it. Do they have to ruin everything? I'm so mad. What are your buttons? Oh, I have an Andy Warhol cat, an Andy Warhol electric chair, and Whitney Houston. Mm. Pete, I'm sending a ghost to your home. Happy Pride. Oh, honey, I already have a ghost in here. Sometimes the lights go off. Sometimes the lights go off. It's probably it's a Hollywood ghost. Celebrities, movie stars. Glamour. Oh, it's all so much. I'm going to ask you a question after the, after we get to these tabloids. I want to ask your advice on pronouns. Because I came across somebody and they corrected me about their pronouns. Well, I'm just going to go and do it now. And then we're going to get to these tabloids. For pride. So, um, would you, if somebody... I, I had to get, somebody corrected me on, on their pronoun. And I'm fine with that. You know, sometimes I, I can, um, I can be corrected. I don't know everything. Well, I'm really bad at names. So I'm going to be bad at pronouns. I can't remember your name, let alone your pronoun. And now I'm good at dates. Give me a date. I'll tell you what scandal happened that year. Give me a date. Give me a date. Come on. Did Andy have an affair with JFK Jr.? Andy Warhol? I don't think so, honey. Both of them had bad backs. 1994, that was a great year for scandals, honey. O.J. Simpson, Tanya Harding. Oh. 1989, oh. That was the year Madonna got divorced from Sean Penn. November 19, uh, May 9th, May 19th, 1990. Um... Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> I forgot that one. Well, anyway, if, um, if someone's pronoun is a they and you forget it, would you be offended if somebody, um, you know, corrected you or would you find it annoying? Give me a date. Amy Fisher was 1992. 1899. That's when syphilis um, in the eyes came about. OJ Chase was 30 years ago tonight. That's right, my chashi. I remember that night. I remember that night. I was, um, I was on my front yard. What year was Monica Lewinsky? 1998. May 21st, 1960. Oh, there was a problem with the oven. And that's that, honey. You would be annoyed if they had an attitude. Although, yeah, I, well, I'm always annoyed if somebody has an attitude. Usually, I have the attitude. <laughs> oh, I just can't remember everything. That's what, that's what I'm trying to get to right now. 2002. You know, that's when Ben and Jennifer um, got together in 2002. And, and it's been a nightmare ever since. Inside Edition. I don't know what's on Inside Edition tonight, honey. But I'll tell you, did you guys watch the Tony Awards? Because there was something real scary on the Tonys. And we'll get to it at the end of the show. I don't know what's on, on Inside Edition right now, my trash. I mean, I just don't know. Let's see. You know, I love Deborah Norville. April 2nd, 2024. Oh, that was the, that was the day my, I got my hair caught on fire. I leaned over and like tried to uh, talk to somebody and my, uh, my hair went into a candle. Oh, uh, Inside Edition's over, my trashy. It's 7.30. We gotta get to these tabloids. Come on. Oh, who cares? J-Lo and Ben are divorcing. Well, yeah, honey, we know I told you. Also, Chinese zoo dyes dogs to be fake pandas. New UFO cover-up exposed. Lumina knows. Hillary bombs on Broadway. Can she sing? Oh, this is sad. This is a sad story. Look. Oh, this is so sad. We're not Red Lobster. All you can eat shrimp and lobster eatery in the red. Casual dining pioneer Red Lobster may be swimming towards bankruptcy after its everyday all you can eat shrimp deal backfired and sent patrons into a feeding frenzy of the chain's banana buffets. Bonanza buffets. This is sad. We knew the price was cheap, but the idea was to bring more traffic in the restaurants. I was at a Red Lobster when I went to see Madonna, and um, I tried to go into a Red Lobster before the concert, and nobody even waited on me. They just let me sit there, and there was all kind of trash on the table. I think they're homophobic. Oh, well. It's, it's agatry. It's agatry. It's agatry. Making too much whoopee. Honey, what is she doing now? X-rated host booty calls TMA, TMI stuns viewers. Ew. Combative view colors Whoopi Goldberg's X-rated mission. She prefers wham, bam, thank you man hookups to a real relationship. Have the co controversial chat fest producers wondering if it's time for a cash change. Oh, honey, you have to watch out, Whoopi, because you know there's an STD ringworm out there. It eats your flesh. Look at this. GMA dunks junk man DeMarco. So, um, he, he got in trouble because he wears these bicycle shorts. Raise the athletic picks trigger new scandal. Ripped GMA3 host DeMarco Morgan is causing jaws to drop for all the wrong reasons. Even though the physically gifted gapper has ladies in a lather. ABC haunches are said to be horrified by a series of grin and bear see, bear social media snapshots of the beefcake wearing blindingly tight bike shorts. Now they are in a tizzy over what to do about what they consider Morgan's tutorial missteps. ABC, good, um, that's the one where the two co-hosts had an affair. He's not one of them and they got replaced, but that show always has problems. But this is, he has, he has a bulge. 
Look at that bird. Honey, that bird's causing problems on GMA. Executives at the highest levels of ABC have flagged the photos eternally. It leaves very little of the imagination. For pride? He knows he's got it and he's not afraid to flaunt it. And with a physique like his, who can blame him? He should charge $1,000 to get a picture taken with that bird, honey. <gasps> Woo! That's, that's, <laughs> where's the Pope, honey? That's Agatry. That's Agatry. Meanwhile, fans are lapping it up. I bet they are, honey. Woo! Oh, oh, Reba, even Reba's all shook up over it. You go, girl, for pride. Oh, better for divorce. We know, we know, we know. Fights, fumbles, and freakouts. Toxic marriages killing them. Not killing them. Are they going to kill... Is ben, Benifer going to destroy themselves? Lame lovebirds. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are winging their way to divorce court after less than two years of marriage. We know, honey. Meanwhile, Ben is chain-smoking and has no appetite. They're both running on fumes and not taking care of themselves. Oh, he's, he just needs his Dunkin' Donuts. This is serious, you guys. This, oh, look at Renee Zellweger's face. Cat Eye Renee claws back. Not Cat Eye. So this is 2016. This is 2020. This is now. This is today. Zellweger insists she's had no facial surgery. And I believe her. Squinty Renelle Zellweger looks shockingly different on London instead of Bridget Jones. She's making another Bridget Jones? Oh, I can't. China Zoo is paints dogs to look like pandas. Wait, is that a dog or a panda? Chow Chow dogs are made to look like pandas. <gasps> That's a skew, honey. Paying customers barked about the, the deception. Why are they giving me bamboo to eat? That's sad. Meghan Markle should give them her dog treats and save them. A zoo in China is getting back, is getting a black and white eye over its decision to pawn off dogs, painted to look like pandas to make a face. Oh, I don't know what that is. That, what is that? The Tazun Zoo in, these words! Jigasu province where poorly used black eye, no black dye, and an artful clip to transform two cha cha dogs into creatures that kind of maybe somewhat resemble the giant bamboo chewing national critter. And the oddball bait and switch is making paying customers barking mad. A lot of people are coming to visit them and you need to queue, uh, queued up growled a zoo spokesperson. There are no panda bears at the zoo. And we wanted to do this as a result. While well, many of the tens of thousands of viewers of viral zoo video of the painted pups agree the panda dogs are cute, others call the dye job animal cruelty. People also dye their hair. Natural dye could be used to dogs if they have long fur. Oh, this is sad. Honey, Jen and SJP ugly feud explodes. Harry goes off the deep end. He's weeping meltdown. He has bizarre tantrums. He's rocked by a charity scandal. Let's get to it. Look at this gorgeous hair. Look at this. Who is this? You've got to be, you've got to be kidding. Who is Paisa de la Huerta? I don't know who she is. But he's laughing. Here are some four things that's funny. I can't. I can't. Humiliated Harry's tearful collapse. Eat a dog biscuit and some jam and get over it. I want this. I want this. Realm of Dragons. Look at this knife, a sculptural knife collection, artesian, handcrafted with a metallic finish. It's gorgeous. Honey, Timberlake is popularity is plunging, and she's laughing and twirling. Britney Spears bashed her ex in her memoir. Oh, 
<laughs> Justin Timberlake is saying, saying is seeing fans wave bye 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 after the bi the boy bander was bashed by ex Britney Spears. The aging pop star boy forty three racked up a slew of hits on his own, oh, but now it's over. Cry me a river. Nobody cares about that him anymore. <gasps> oh, they're, what are they fighting over? Botox. Competing shows bring out the worst in Aniston and SJP. Frenemies, Sarah Jessica Parker and Jennifer Aniston are facing off again with a new season of their TV shows. And just like that in the morning show. And their petty competition is already getting nasty. Sources say there are a lot of catty comments being thrown around, says a spy. They have plenty of friends in common. So, of course, nothing stays discreet. They seem to love pushing each other's buttons. What friends do they have in common? Courtney Cox? The Counting Crows? These two have met plenty of times, but they have never clicked. It didn't help that they often went up for the same roles over the years. Isn't she a lot older than her? Honey, everything's a lie. She is determined to give Jen a real fight and prove she's a worthy competitor, says the snitch. Me. Of course, Jen is strutting around feeling more confident than ever. She intends to keep the morning show going for years to come. It's fair to say she doesn't take SJP's reboot seriously. So, so the pressure is really on SJP to wipe that smile smug off Jen's face. And just like that, it's war, honey. It is war. Kelly confessed is using diet drug to get skinny. I told you, honey, she's on Ozempic. Originally told fans weight loss was from walking. No one believed that story. You, she said she was walking around New York City and lost weight. Honey, were you walking up and down the Empire State Building? No, honey, it's a skew. It's a skew. War made his brains. It's a skew. It's a skew. And I'm back. I don't like, you know, celebrities that lie. Just say that you're using w w Wagovi and, like, Ozempic. And not that you're walking around New York. Ugh. Katy Perry is acting like she's Christina Aguilera. And Kelly Clarkson is acting like she's walking around New York. And it's all lies. Gosh darn it! Her way for Hollywood. She walked to get Ozempic from the drugstore. That's right, my trashy. And just like that, celebrities lie. They're liars. Oh. You know who's not a liar? Me. I'm not a liar. Although I did lie to those homosexuals at that gay party um, and said that there was a sex club in the back and it was really just karaoke. Oh, well. <laughs> Hi, my trashies. Well, my trashies, that's it. I have to go. I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta go lie. And I'm going to go see the Pope. I read his, um, all his speeches and it's all about agatry. The agatry of it all, honey. Is there any um, subjects and topics you'd like me to talk about that I haven't covered tonight on the show? Oh, I'm not going to trunks. I haven't gone on in a long time, my trashy. Hi, my trashy. I love you, my trashies. I'm not talking about Donald Trump, gosh darn it. Everyone talks about that ding dong. Oh, those Siamese twins? Oh yeah, they were in the tabloids a couple weeks ago. They got one, well, they got married. Well, one of them got married and the other one was long for the ride. I love that you're wearing the Rachel. Thank you, my trashy. The Rachel never goes out of style. And that's what makes SJP so gosh darn mad. <laughs> <sighs> oh, honey, the sun is still out. I hate when the sun stays out so long. I like when the sun, I like when it, sunset was at three. What am I supposed to do? Because I won't leave the house until it gets dark. Divorced, I thought. Who is divorced? Me? My husband's a pig. The twins. What, they got, they divorced each other? Or one of them divorced her husband? I don't know, honey. But do you think, um, We've, uh, you think there will be more mischief from Gypsy Rose Blanchard? Or do you think she's going to live, you know, the up and up life? 
You're sick about hearing about my perfect marriage, Trashy? Well, that's what you get for being proud, honey. Everyone needs to hear about my perfect marriage. Well, some people were watching the Tonys. Um, I wasn't because I was watching the Anthonys because I have the perfect marriage. Uh, speaking of the Tonys, I want to leave you guys with this. I'm going to cue it up. Who would you rather kiss, SJP or Boo Riley from To Kill a Mockingbird? I actually kissed a woman, this woman I was at a party at Chateau Marmont, pre-pandemic. She looked just like Sarah Jessica Parker and she kissed me. <laughs> and just like that, I'm a lesbian. For proud. For proud. It's honey, the agature of it all. Wait till you see this. This is agature. This is pure pride agature. I'm queuing it up. And we're going to dance our way out of this um, live, special live pride edition. Wait till you see it, honey. Are you ready? Hold on. I gotta get up. <laughs> Woo! Scared. <laughs> the agatry, honey. I'm scared. Ew. What is going on? I need the Pope to come save me. Where's the Pope? What are you talking about? The Pope should have played this part. Oh, give him a Mega Marco biscuit. Do you guys like this? <laughs> Happy Pride, my trashies. Hey, that is a skew, that performance. I heard that um, everybody in the audience is drunk at that show and they're screaming and yelling, and that shows a mess. It's a skew. You hate musical theater, my trashy, but what about the, um, what about Tanya Harding, the musical? Oh my God, it's screaming. Shut the hell up, gosh darn it. Well, I have to go. Oh, I gotta get ready for the next show. I'm a, you know, I'm a theater actress. I love you, my trashies. It is embarrassing for our community, my trashy. Not, they shouldn't have that performance during Pride. It's agatry. It's total agatry. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. And just like that.